To demonstrate cross-cluster replication, I'm going to leverage two Elasticsearch instances running locally on my laptop uh, together with their corresponding Kibana instances also running locally. Uh, so the one on the left-hand side of the screen is the first Elasticsearch cluster with its Kibana instance running on port uh, 5601. The one on the right is the second Elasticsearch cluster uh, with its Kibana instances running on port uh, 5602. Now, uh, the first cluster is where I'm going to create the leader index in. The second cluster on the right is where I'm going to create the follower index in. Now, first of all, let's make sure that we don't have any index uh, with the name starting with CCR in the first cluster. Uh, and then let's go ahead and create uh, a cluster, uh, a index called CCR demo index. Uh, please note that there is an important um, uh, configuration or setting that I turn on for this uh, index that is called soft deletes enabled. This setting basically controls how many soft deletes are retained on the leader index so that when later the follower requesting those operations, they're still available and can be replicated. Please note that soft deletes can only be enabled on new indexes created uh, in 6.5. This basically means if you want to set up an existing index in 6.5 as the leader index, you have to create a separate new index enabling soft deletes on it and then use the reindex API to move data or ingest data from the old to the newly created index. Let's go ahead and create this uh, CCR demo index. Uh, it, you can see from the response on the right, it's, full, it's successfully created. Um, and then let's go ahead and verify there is no data, no documents in this index at this point. And then I'm going to go ahead and create one document into it and making sure it's actually persisted. So that finishes our setup on the uh, um, uh, leader index side. Now switch to the second cluster uh, where I'm, I'm going to create the follower index. First of all, let's verify there is no index with the name starting with CCR uh, existing in this cluster. And then in order to set up um, a cross cluster replication on the, on the follower side, you have to do two things. The first step you need to do is to set up a remote cluster. And you use the cluster settings API to do that. Uh, basically, you set up a remote cluster with a name alias called leader. And you point this remote cluster to uh, a particular host or IP address and port. Right. Um, after you execute this API call, you can use cluster settings API to verify. Um, the setting is in the persistent setting block of the cluster. And then you can use the remote.info API to verify uh, that you have connected to uh, the remote cluster. Right? You can see the connected status is set to true and it's connecting actually to this uh, remote cluster with the alias leader. Uh, and it's um, running on this particular uh, IP address and port. Right. Once the remote cluster is set up, the second step is to create a new index, tell it to follow the leader index on a remote cluster. And this is where this API call is all about. You can see I'm creating a new index called uh, CCR demo index replicated, and I'm telling it to follow um, the leader index called CCR demo index uh, running or residing on uh, this remote cluster by the name alias leader. After executing this one, I can see okay, the follower index is created and the following process is started. Um, and then I can go ahead and verify that I do have uh, the new uh, index created and it already has one document in it. Uh, and that is because uh, cross-cluster replication automatically um, replicate data from the leader index to um, the follower index. And we can see actually the contents of that document being replicated. Um, the keys and values are exactly the same as, as those on the leader index. Now I can go ahead and create uh, more documents on it and actually verify they're all persisted. I created two new documents in the leader index. I can switch to the follower side and see um, those three documents right now are all fully replicated to um, to the follower index. Now this demo is meant to be simplistic and we use the dev tools and the RESTful APIs in Elasticsearch to show you how to set up cross-cluster replication.
in your production deployment, uh, you may have to do the initial remote cluster and leader follower setup once. And then after that, uh, as long as you pump data or ingest data into your leader index, it'll be replicated automatically for you onto the follower side. Uh, remember the three use cases we talked about in the presentation, high availability or disaster recovery, data locality or geo proximity, as well as central reporting, they can all be implemented on top of cross-cluster replication. All right, that concludes our demo for CCR.